Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karia. You guys are watching me on YouTube now, and in this session, I'm gonna take you through the difference between Socket IO and HTTP2. Lots of folks they are moving from Socket to HTTP2, and I'm gonna brief about the Socket before. So Socket is something that allows you to do the real-time performance, real-time monitoring, and everything that is happening in the real time. So as of now, the folks were using. HTTP 1.1. So now HTTP 2 is there already. It's production ready. So we are going to move from socket to HTTP 2. So in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the simplest possible example of timer and that timer will be sending events from the backend of Node.js and in the react in the front end that time will load. And I'm going to quickly start with new project. So npm init hyphen y. That's it. I'll need one index.js. I'll need react project too. So I'm going to create npx create react tab client where the UI interface we are will try to implement. So this is it. So uh, now I'll need few dependencies in my root folder. That will be npm install spaddy course and this is express i guess so this is it these are the three dependencies needed later so inside index.js all i need is my express code uh, i'll initialize the express app so later you will need one route that is app.get slash time where it will keep sending the current time to the front end and inside that what i'll need is i need to set some headers in here content type which is based on event stream in http2 we use the event streams so later whatever the data that you can write you can write any point of time so in the http1 you have to request and then only you will get the response but here you can send the response from the server anytime whenever you want via the stream so later interval you are sending the time so in here, in every interval, you are sending the time. So later on request.onclose, you have to close the, uh, clear the interval. So you have to generate the local uh, SSL certificate in order to run HTTP2. So it's strongly uh, secured. So you don't have choice to use the uh, local host uh, with HTTP so you have to use the HTTP as always so for that Chrome browser is what we use and uh, I have to generate this server.key and server.cert file and later once uh, it's ready you can create the server okay so now inside my client inside app.js what I'll do is I'll have to use uh, use effect and use state maybe in here so inside my app, all I have to do is uh, set a variable that is uh, server time with using use state and in event source, you can define the event source where it is coming from backend, the backend URL and uh, on message, you can uh, set the server time. And now instead of this many of things, all we have to do is this. So we are good. Let's open the client npm start so now inside your http2 one thing is remaining that you have to generate the ssl folder so for that uh, just hit this command inside your ssl folder should be there so i don't have ssl folder yet so let's create the ssl folder you can google it this command or you can just grab and copy paste this command okay so inside here i have to create uh, the keys so that's ready and we are good to run the index.js so it's running already so if i go here if i refresh the time time frame and if i open the in inspect element uh, the one last thing is remaining where uh, this is getting filled if you see in here this is happening because of one thing that you need to verify that link inside keychain you need to import this certificate file this file okay just get this file inside here import this and you're good to go so once you do that go here refresh get this link open in new tab advance proceed once you refresh 
now this time is coming from the server and this is real time so this is crazy let's refresh again so inside network there is a time and inside event stream it's keep coming so now this is a beautiful way to not request every time and every time you just create the initiate the stream stream of events and it will keep coming tata bye